I was like terrified. She got me coffee. Obviously it's so important that y'all know what's up with me. Hey vlog. Long time no say. I mean, I guess it's only been a week, but I missed you. <laughs> so obviously you noticed I didn't have a vlog last week and I'm sorry, but I just really wanted to uh, finish up some school things, um, just get completely focused on that, finishing everything up. Um, and yeah, so I just didn't really vlog much, but I am back. Hi. And um, yeah, so I just wanted to catch you up on some stuff. I did record something, so don't think I left you guys out on my life. Because obviously it's so important that y'all know what's up with me. <laughs> um, a lot happened this week. Um, well, Kind of. Okay, so a lot of you know that I'm kind of doing some new stuff with my room, trying to change some things up. So um, I'm going to insert some things uh, now. In this picture, you see one of my Eiffel Tower painting things that I had. Well, here is what I did with it. tower themed thing in my room and uh, here's what it looked like before and uh, here's what I did with it. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, I got to paint some of my door frames and so here's just a little thing of that. <laughs> successfully finished my sophomore year at GCU. Um, I turned in my last assignment on, um, I believe it was Wednesday. So yeah, so sophomore year was really great. Um, I just kind of want to talk about it a little bit. So um, I definitely didn't know what to expect going back to GCU. You know, I was, I was definitely ready to go back, but I was ready to go back to what I was used to freshman year. And obviously things didn't go that way. You know, I lost some friends that I thought I'd have for a long time and, um, you know, some classes were a lot more difficult. But, you know, even though I lost some really great friends, I kind of learned that, you know, people are gonna walk in and out of your life and, you know, some friendships are just meant to be seasonal and some are meant to be forever. And, you know, and that's okay. Like, life goes on and everybody just does their own thing. But, I mean, obviously, it worked out for me because I ended up with some of the best friends ever. They definitely had changed a lot for me. Um, you know, I, I was looking for some people that, you know, I could always be 100% myself around, always be happy, always be genuine. And they really did break down my, my wall a lot. Classes definitely got harder, but, um, you know, that just kind of increased my determination and working hard and doing what I want and knowing, um, and knowing for sure this is what I want to do with my life, you know? This was also the year I started this vlog, which I've enjoyed so much. I really hope you guys have enjoyed these vlogs as much as I've enjoyed making them. Um, it's crazy to think that I started these vlogs like in December and it's already April and like I literally recorded basically my entire second half of my sophomore year, which is pretty crazy. <laughs> but I know I'm gonna enjoy looking back at them sometime and I hope you guys just are enjoying them as I'm being, you know, my 100% genuine goofy self. <laughs> so it was just a really great time. I did so many things that, you know, I never really thought I would do, like, stay up all night long. Like, if anybody knew me before then, like, knew that I didn't do that at all. Like, I could barely make it to 3 a.m. without, like, crashing. But, um, yeah, it was definitely an exciting year, an exciting time. And, you know, I it's probably one of the greatest years of my life. The one thing this year has taught me is that anytime you 
are put down or in trouble or feeling down or neglected or whatever, always turn to God. He, in the end, has a purpose and a plan for you. And because just because something didn't work out doesn't mean that is the end of the world. Because it didn't work out because it wasn't part of his plan for you. And that's honestly what he did for me. I mean, this it took a while, but this last week was probably one of the biggest step ups I've had. Um since everything you know went down like I just I really enjoyed it and you know it was mostly because like you know I was finished with school and I think that was part of it but I really could feel like God was like telling me hey it's gonna be okay you know look who has been here for you through this whole thing I'm excited to uh to you know continue on with uh summer so I have a week of summer and then I have summer classes starting next week so exciting times. I'll be taking four classes because your girl's trying to graduate early. Um, so I'll be done with, I'm done with my sophomore year now and I'll be done with my junior year um, by July. So that's pretty insane. I just want to update you guys. It's Sunday by the way. <laughs> Start of a new week and um, welcome back to a new week of vlogging. Here we go. Good morning vlog. Today is Monday. I'm eating oatmeal. Basically, now that summer has begun, I'm gonna switch my work shifts to mornings so I can have my evenings to myself. I also have my coffee. Hey guys, so update. Um, so we heard today, so the, tech, the governor of Texas announced today that they are going to be reopening businesses this Friday with a max capacity of 25%. And I don't really know how I feel about it yet, but they're going to start with 25 on Friday and then May 18th, if it goes well, they're going to start going to 50%. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I just hope and pray that this is the right decision. Hey guys, so small update. I have ice cream now because I'm just obsessed with this Rebel ice cream. I don't know what it is about it. It's just so good to me. Um, so I recommend this one is the, ch the coffee chip one is really good and then i'm gonna watch a movie um so it's been on my list for a long time and i don't know why i haven't watched it yet but um it's called beautiful boy and it stars steve carell and timothy chalamet and my friend kayla was telling me a lot about it and saying how like she loved it because she's like in a timothy chalamet phase where she's obsessed with him so um i'm gonna watch it and see how this is so movie review after a dish okay guys so movie review so i watched um beautiful boy starring steve carell and timothy chalamet it's on amazon prime for anybody who wants to watch it i want to start doing more movie reviews on my vlog since i love watching movies and you know like exploring that kind of stuff and um i like talking about films so i'm gonna do like categories for it so i'm gonna start with like um what i liked about the film what i didn't like about the film and then I'm gonna do a rating out of 10, and then I'm going to do most memorable scene, and then uh, most outstanding uh, character. I just think this will be a little bit more fun so I can interact more with you guys and you know, recommend some maybe, maybe some movies for you. And um, y'all can tell me what y'all thought about the movies or whatever. So um, like I said, I watched uh, Beautiful Boy. The story follows um, this 18 year old named Nick. He becomes a drug addict and uh, played by Timothy. And his dad, played by Steve Carell, David, um, he kind of is going through this long process of trying to help him get rehabilitated and get back on track with his life and all this stuff. Um, things I liked about the film, um, it was very impactful. Like, it was very, there were times where I was actually really emotional watching it. Um, they did a really great job of really bringing this character to life and, like, what he's going through. I mean, Timothy is just... I, I have a deep respect for Timothy as an actor. Like, he he does almost anything to par. Like, he's just such a wide variety actor. And it's kind of crazy um, how great he is. And, like, I honestly see him with an Oscar in, like, five to six years. Um, the directing was really well done. I really feel like um, the cinematic elements, like, uh, cinematography and stuff were really well done. Spoiler alert warning. I think my favorite part cinematography wise was um at the end when um timothy's character overdoses and he is in a bathroom and he's like lying on the bathroom floor and he's in a stall though so they have the camera set up to where you can see underneath the stall and you just kind of see him slowly like laying down and you can you know what's happening to him you don't have to see like the full effect just like this whole like 
mess of everything where his life has come to and how they're portraying this like broken kid you know it just really really was probably one of the most impactful things from the film so some things i didn't like about the film um so i love movie soundtracks i think that they're probably one of the most important things to movies because they really do set the tone for it they really do help carry the film and i really enjoyed this film but it absolutely aggravated me that the soundtrack took you out of the film sometimes. Like there were moments where a song would start playing and it would fit the scene perfectly, but then it would transition into another scene, but they keep the same song playing and it didn't match the tone for that scene at all to the point where I was just like, all I'm paying attention to right now is the music. Like I can't even focus on what's happening in the scene because it's taking me out of it. And again, towards the end, they have like this opera song being sung as like so many things are happening. And like in the one moment it was fine. And then in another moment I was like, okay, this needs to stop playing. Like it just needs to be silent. And then it played all the way until up till the end. And I was like, this would be so much more impactful if we just had dead silence or something different. But I honestly prefer probably just dead silence because of how big that moment was. I was like, I just want to take it all in and this music is distracting me from it. I really feel like it could have been an emotional like hit in the gut if they had cut that. Second thing was it had a very interesting structure to it. Like it would flash back to when um, Timothy's character was like a little boy and then it would flash back to like pre um, drug ad addict and then you know like all this stuff but then like halfway through the film they kind of just like forgot any of that stuff or they didn't bring any of it back I personally liked the setup in the beginning and I would have liked if they still had incorporated more of it towards the end because I felt like they kind of chunked it all together in the beginning and then kind of just left the ending go like I would have loved if there was like some more like callbacks to especially when like to meet these characters going like further and further down this hill like I would have loved more of like the dad reminiscing during um like the good times and like all this other stuff because like that really like also helped relate to how the parent was like he used to see him as this like beautiful boy like hello <laughs> and he you know would like and he loved this kid like no matter what and all this stuff and I just feel like they kind of just took that away I feel like there's so much more potential with this movie. Like it was so good in some areas, but then these these little nitpicky things that I'm just like, it would have been so perfect of a movie if they had just done some little things to tweak it. Rating time. <laughs> so um, again, I feel like this movie had so much more potential. I feel like they kind of held back on some areas. So um, I have to say, I give it a seven out of 10. Um, because it was really good, but, you know, just, again, there were some things that missing, some things that took me out of the movie, blah, 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 like, I already talked about it. Most memorable scene, um, probably when, um, uh, Timothy's character calls, um, calls his dad, um, the last time, and his dad's like, no, you can't come home anymore because we tried to help you, nothing's worked, and all this stuff. I felt like that was probably the most impactful scene because it had no music. Like, I was sitting there like, okay, why haven't they done this the whole time? Like, you can literally tell in Timothy's performance how, like, distraught this kid is, how broken he is, how sad he feels that this is, this is his life and how this has come to everything, and he just wants to come home, and his dad's like, no, like, we've tried everything, you haven't changed, like, I can't trust you right now and stuff and that really like hit me in my gut to the point where I was like why haven't they done this the whole film uh, most memorable character honestly um, Maura Tierney she played um, Karen the stepmom um, I honestly want to give it to her because her character kind of feels like because she was kind of she was a stepmom like she didn't really know where to step in when she could help you know like it was just that kind of character i feel like honestly some of the best characters are the ones that aren't as like aren't the important roles but they have just the reacting part and i think those are really underappreciated actors because reacting is just as important as actually acting or like saying lines and stuff and so i think she did a really great job especially the scene where she um 
starts chasing after him in her car in her van like I really felt for her because all she wanted was for her husband to be happy and for her stepson to get better and like she just wanted the best for them and I really think that character really like touched me more <laughs> like I'm not saying that Timothy and Steve's characters didn't but if I had to pick a character that really stuck out to me I'd have to say it was more Tierney's character because she just was just great like honestly every time she came on screen I honestly found myself watching more intently just because her character was just so much more like it was a side character but she was so important to the story so that is my review on beautiful boy hi guys it is Tuesday and I am finally driving again I'm so happy um but I just got off work I'm about to head to Magnolia which is about like 40 minute drive um because i need to pick up something from one of my friends and uh yeah we're just gonna like hang out and talk um we're hoping that it doesn't rain because we're meeting at a park and we kind of wanted to walk around and you know get out of our homes a little bit so we could kind of catch up <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh I didn't okay guys i am back home now i didn't vlog much on our little park adventure just because um we hadn't seen each other in like months and I really wanted to just you know catch up with her but basically in that last clip that squirrel literally followed us for like 15 minutes like he just kept running after us and it was honestly frightening because I would literally thought he was just gonna jump on us or something I was like terrified um I'm back home now and I have pasta and I'm so excited because I'm so hungry okay guys so since recently Obviously, we've all been stuck at home and stuff. I don't know why, but all of a sudden, I've gotten a sudden urge to play a certain game. And I'm doing it, finally. Ready? The Sims! I only have Sims 3. I don't have Sims 4, but I'm so excited. I'm gonna check to see if one house is still there, because I remember I did one of my friend group, like, forever ago. And I want to do one of Toast Gang. So, um, I'm pretty excited. So, we'll see how this goes. Hi, vlog. Today is... Thursday and I forgot to update you guys but I ended up calling with Kaylee and Kayla last night and we ended up making Toast Gang on The Sims and I stayed up till almost like 5 a.m. <laughs> making each of us so um it was really fun but I'm really tired and I had work this morning so I'm kind of regretting doing that. That's us Toast Gang. We decided to just buy a plot of land and make, I'm gonna make us a house and then once it's like all up and running, they want me to like, they want to like watch me play it. Um, it'd be cool if all of us could like play it at the same time, but it's, mm, I'm the only one who has the game. Good morning vlog. I'm awake Hi. before noon. <laughs> I got choking on my hair. Oh, this has happened to me. <laughs> okay, so I'm here with Emmy. She got me coffee. Cause she works at Starbucks now, so. This whole thing cost me like five bucks. Yeah. Yep, but Living she, the brought dream. she brought crepes. I did. So. I did. I brought some of the leftover crepes we had from the other day. But anyway, we're just meeting here at a park. This is actually the infamous park that I crashed my bike almost two years ago. So, no bikes today, just our feet. Yeah. So, so if hopefully. You fall, it's because you're just clumsy. Yes. I was going to say that. Okay, guys. So, I got back from the park about. 2.30 and now I have Chipotle look how beautiful this looks right now hello vlog today is Saturday and your girl painting as you can see the door matches the frame now oh my gosh so I've painted that back part of the door and then that back part of the door insert videos now <music> So I have, yeah, so I'm waiting for it to dry right now for the closet door. Then I'm gonna do a second coat on it, um, let it dry, do the second coat on this one, let it dry, and then I'm gonna do the other side. Okay, vlog, so I finished the doors. There's that one. And then I did the other side of this one. 
pretty pretty so yeah so another step accomplished um after they are completely and utterly dry um we're gonna put um something on it to prevent chipping we're about to go eat and i'm starving because i've been working for like four hours so yeah but um this was this was fun and uh next step is to do the trim along the wall okay guys so i'm with the family Ooh. You got sun in your eyes. There you go. Daddy, say hi. Hello. And we got crawfish. And we're sitting out here in the beautiful weather in the park. We're just sitting under some trees and eating it. And I'm super happy. Okay, guys. So that's the end of this week's vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>